I know in your patients today and yesterday, this week, you've seen an interesting and I guess disturbing uh, trend of underlying conditions for those COVID patients. What are those? I don't know if it's disturbing. It's a revelation, uh, revealing. Uh, we're seeing a lot more diabetes than we've ever seen with any respiratory viral infection. Uh, I just did the calculation. We have 23 proven COVID patients. 13 are known diabetics. The other nine are pre-diabetic. So only one out of 23 hospitalized COVID patients that we're taking care of, proven ones, are not are is not diabetic or pre-diabetic. In the I, in the severe form, we had 15 patients with severe um, COVID disease in the ICU on the vent. Ten of those patients had diabetes. Four had pre-diabetes. Wow. The only one who didn't was 94 year old man we don't know if he had either the testing wasn't done and we still don't even have his covid test backs so we're not even sure he fits that category so the the frequency of diabetes and pre-diabetes and, and high sugar levels when they present is enormous and something i've never seen associated with any viral infection wow. it's not really described in any of the literature i've seen so far and i've been asking colleagues about it um for instance influenza while you know if people with diabetes should get the flu vaccine. It's not one of the main groups the CDC even recommends. Okay, for so this is, this is, Dr. Smith, this is one of the things we're going to learn a lot more about as